And when I did Basa Sababa, I th- when I wrote it, I wrote it from a very, very, very dark place. <laughs> like I, th- I, 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 I wrote uh, a very dark memory of, of me being 15 and, and secretly dating another 15 year old, which told me that he's ashamed to date me because, um, because his mother hates fat people. And he's ashamed of being seen with me in school and people feeling sorry for him. And uh, from that moment until I was 25, I was ashamed of dating people publicly. Just to not, just to not um, confront the, the, the feeling of, of, of rejection, of, of people, of people's looks. So I wrote, stop, call your mama. Now tell her I'm a rhino. People have been calling me a rhino all my life because I'm clumsy and aggressive when I'm insulted. Uh, So I decided to reclaim the rhino as a pink, fabulous, bedazzled thing. And absolutely nobody got it <laughs> for you. absolutely nobody got it everybody liked the beat and the pink rhino and and that was the thing <laughs> but, but does that song allow you to want to date again or allow you that mental freedom to like go out like that has to be so free and uh. yeah no i i did it i did it from a very therapeutic place the song I, was I, living I, in you for 10 years Yes, I I needed it. I needed this song. But what I'm saying is nobody understood. Yeah. Nobody understood. That's hard. And I I uh, I needed. Um, I'm working still. Still am. I don't think that I'm a uh, I'm a magnificent songwriter. Not even a good one. I am trying to um, to make my way as a, as as a lyricist and 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 a and a good pop writer <laughs>